And God will give us what we need to do what needs to be done. If we perish, let us perish. Millions will rise in our place. You hear what I'm saying to you? Otherwise, your grandchildren will not have a future in this land. And only people who are genuinely rooted in Christ will be able to deliver on God's purposes for this nation. Does he have a purpose for it? Of course. Look at the amount of resources he has put in Nigeria. Look at the, the resilience of the Nigerian. Look at how Nigerians are succeeding everywhere in the world, whether they left Nigeria 400 years ago or left Nigeria on a plane 50 years ago. They excel. We're at the top of the treasury in the United States. We're at the top of the World Bank. The list is very long in all the sciences and in all the arts. So the problem is not Nigerians. It is Nigeria and its constitution. The document upon which we were formed was a few soldiers who put it together and their surrogates. And that's what's supposedly holding us together. The foundation is that document. And if that foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? We've got to go back to the foundation. The next administration must not access power until we have a veritable constitution that is truly the document of we the people. We the people. You hear what I'm saying to you? Anything else is a fraud. Nigeria is a scam. Mm. It's a scam. And it's perpetuated itself too long. It's time to do something about it. No politician has the right to talk to us on this matter unless they believe as we believe. On this matter, Nigeria can do better, she can get better, and she can win. We are suffering in Nigeria. In our hundreds of millions. Whereas we need not to. We could easily be one of the top three countries in the world with the kind of resources we have. And it's about time that we let the international community know that they must be partial. Don't come and tell us that you're protecting democracy. Mm -mm. Don't come and tell us that you're looking for free and fair elections. Which election has been free and fair in this country? Except the closest to it, Abiola and Babagana 